Hello everybody, Driven Bombers 14 and already 14.1 is out and it brings some nice improvements to the Reaper version of Driven by Moss. You get now a much better support for scenes. Scenes, as you might know, are simulated or emulated in Reaper as region markers, which works quite nicely. But so far you could not create them or duplicate them and that's now possible. So here I show that by using the Ableton Push Controller, but such features are also available in many of the other supported controllers of Driven by Moss. First let's create a new track, for example let's have an FM8 in there and let's make that a little bit bigger so you can see it better and we can insert a clip for that. The clip is always determined here by the length you configured here for example to two bars and if I create now the new clip I get a new clip of the two bars and I can record in it. So far I don't have a scene because we don't have a region marker for that. You can now insert a scene by keeping the select key pressed and choosing duplicate and now we have the first scene. You can create additional scenes by pressing this multiple times and then they will always be added at the end of the last found scene. The scene length is also determined by the configured fixed length. So if, for example, if you go now to four bars and we create a new scene, you get a scene of four bars. You can also duplicate scenes and it duplicates also all the content in that region and inserts it after the currently playing region. For example, if we we have now the play cursor, maybe let's stop that. We have the play cursor at the first scene and if I choose now to duplicate the scene by keeping the duplicate button pressed and selecting the scene, it will add it after the current region, the rest will be moved back here and you will have also a copy of this clip we created here and the name will be the name with an added copy to it. Let's add here another track or let's add some more so you can see it better and then you have several tracks here we can just puzzle around the different clips a little bit let's do it like this and let's copy it also up to here so we see that we could then simply say we want to duplicate that that first scene and you get all the clips in there as well so it's quite easy to build a similar looping style as you do in Bitwig besides the synchronization start synchronization which you don't get. You can also delete a scene if you want to get rid of it by using the delete button in combination with a scene. So this is an also a gun. There is this function in Bitwig and you might also know it from Ableton that you can basically collect the playing clips and create a new scene from them. So this does not really work in Reaper but what I did is to take the closest region from the current position of the play cursor which in that case currently is at that one here and this one will be duplicated and you, this can be executed here on the push with shift and duplicate and then you have also a copy of this scene of the current play position so by using that I think you can quite nicely emulate how you work in Bitbigo and Ableton as well besides that you don't get the synchronization if you started the scene is directly started and there is no synchronization or waiting for that but nevertheless if you're good in starting that also you can emulate it quite nicely. Another new feature is there were some reports that you get bad performance in some situations which is a known issue because I need to retrieve some data from this so-called track chunk which contains if you execute it it gets stored all the information about the plugins and this can be an issue if you have memory intensive plugins like for example contact or omnisphere and are already put that optimized in a way that it's only be retrieved that information if playback is stopped but even some people reported they want to edit if the playback is stopped and you still get a performance impact. Now you get a new feature if you open up here the configuration dialog of Driven by Moss under the debug option there is now 
a new option which is called disable drag chunk. So this will totally disable this feature. You will only lose, it will also be noted here in the tooltip that when you, so the deactivation state of the track is uh, no longer retrieved and also track record quantization, which is something you, I think you can live without if you are impacted by this performance. If you never notice that this performance issue or don't use sample based instruments at all, then you can deactivate that to get these features back. But now as a default, it's already enabled so that users should not be impacted by this performance issue. So much for the specific Reaper editions. You might also have seen in version 14 of Driven by Moss, there is now huge support for new Akai controllers, which also work nicely on Reaper as well. So check that out and make some funky music.